this is a true story. A true story that Jack London first heard from the men who rode and fought with Pancho Villa. This story of a man whom Jack London chose to call Felipe Rivera begins after he has traveled many miles across his native land, crossed the Rio Grande, and at last reached the streets of El Paso. Teddy Roosevelt shoots tiger. Read all about it. Paper, mister. Read all about it. Teddy Roosevelt shoots tiger. Paper. much this time? No, senor, I... They keep sending new ones across the border to plague us. All right, folks, break it up, break it up. The show's over. Can't you do something about this, officer? We've got our orders, lady. Don't interfere in Mexican troubles for either side. All this stuff about liberty and democracy, who writes it for you? Thomas Jefferson. Come on, he's dead. His ideas are not. Gracias. Papers in our Mexico. Would you have everybody print the truth like you do and get thrown out? Like you too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I must go to work now, denying their lies. Kathy, dictation. Coffee first. Ah, there is nothing in the world like a secretary who also makes good coffee. No, no, no. Don't worry, don't worry. I, I fell down. To all American editors, gentlemen, I write as chief of the Madero Party of my oppressed country, Mexico. We Mexicans in exile proclaim that we are desperate under the Diaz regime. No, Diaz dictatorship. That now seeks a sixth term in office and illegally holds our own candidate, Don Francisco Madero, in prison. We earnestly desire a democratic form of government like that of the United States of America. These are times that... Yes? Felipe Rivera. Yes? I come to join you. I'm here to work for Madero. Tell us who you are. Felipe Rivera from Pazquaro. Who sent you? Durango, the guerrilla chief. You have a letter from him or some other proof? He just told me to come here. When did you see him last? Near Pazquaro, why? Durango was betrayed and captured two weeks ago. Near Asunci. The last we heard, he was to be executed. I did not know. It's in the newspapers. I said I did not know. It is possible, Carlos. You have come all this way to work for Madero? He looks honest. A fresh drummer boy walks in, beats on his drum, and you're ready to embrace him. Why did you come to us? Who sent you? How do we know you're not a new pair of eyes for Diaz? <laughs> All right, all right. I can handle this wild one. I, a trusted friend, that doubts you are a saint, and you turn into a spitfire. No one calls me a Diaz agent. We must suspect everyone, until we are sure. I'm here to work for Madero. Very well. If it is work you want, work you will have. Sweep the floor and mop it. Clean out the stove, clean the windows, straighten the papers. Scrape off the paint that is splattered on the walls, then... Of course! Of course we will pay. Dinner is served. I promise you, 
I promise you, on my word as a scholar and an editor. Yeah. Poor man, he is, he is going downhill. I would pawn my watch again if I had the money to get it out of the pawn shop. Are you not going to eat with us? I'll keep me. Felipe! What is this? Oh, that's a hot dog. You like mustard? Now is good. You live far from here? Lake Patscoro is a long way. I'm in El Paso. Do you have a room? No. There's a boarding house near here. Might have a place. I have no money left. Well, you need a room. I could sleep here. I'm sorry. This place is only for... Only for work and our private papers. Tell him also, no stranger sleeps here. There's no way to tell him, Carlos. Where are you going? Felipe. Felipe, I want to explain. There's nothing to explain. You're like a man with splinters in his flesh. Nobody can get near you. A group like ours must have rules. Rules for strangers. Do you blame them for not trusting you? They trust you and you're not even Mexican. I've earned that trust. How? I was working for the Mexican consulate here. That's how I met Rafael, the man I was going to marry. We resigned our jobs to work for Paulino. Last year, Rafael volunteered to go below the border on a special mission. Federales caught him. He was executed, like so many others. He will be avenged. All will be avenged. Is there nothing in you but hatred? Only that. But that's wrong, Felipe. You have to want more than vengeance. There will be a time of peace and happiness. Hmm. For you, for others, but never for me. How's the coffee? Do you really want me to tell you? Uh, no. What are you doing tonight, baby? Oh, whatever it is, Tex, I'm doing it alone. Well, in that case, I'll work my energy off to Jim. Always trying. Hi, Felipe. Hello, Stella. Hi, kid. So, Roberts, back for more punishment, eh? Each day it hurts less and I learn more. Eat your steak today, like I told you? A nice big fat one. Yeah. Drink your milk? No. Lots of steak, lots of milk, lots of muscles. Can you go four rounds today? Eight rounds pays twice as much. <laughs> okay, but you gotta promise to spend the dough on steaks. I promise. All right, let's go. Hey, your milk. Do you know why he never returned? Because he knew I was onto his little game. Well, we got one good day's work out of him. And he learned nothing from us. Nothing. Still harping on Felipe? How long since we have seen him? Oh, almost a week. A small wager, we never see him again. Uh, what do I use for money? Oh, I will make it easy on you. If he is here by, by tomorrow, I, Carlos Ramos, future member of the Madero cabinet, will do all the cooking, all the washing, and all the cleaning. You'll find this morning dishes in the pan.
Where did this come from? From Diaz, of course. Twenty dollars. A lot of money to rain down from heaven. I wonder just where he got that money. Why, it is easy, amigo. All you have to do is to ask him. Gracias. But no. Still got that chip on your shoulder? Hombre, what are you doing? The landlord again. How are you, Senor Gonzalez? You are wounding my beautiful wall. Believe me, Senor Gonzalez, anything we do here is an improvement. For a tenant who never pays the rent, you should be more considerate. Oh, Paulino. At your service, Senor. Do you have my money? No, but only last week I admitted that we owe you two months' rent. Bravo. I can pay my taxes with that? Have patience, Senor. I have run out of patience. I dispossess you. Three days you have. To pay or to move? It is the law. You threaten no one who works for justice. You, you are abusing the, the landlord? You will have your rent in three days. Three days? I will be back. Any comment, Carlos? He was trying to impress us. He certainly impressed the landlord. <laughs> uh, you give your trust too easily. Where are you going? To find out more about our friend. I'll go along. Uh, to keep him from choking you again. Don't worry, Billy will be in great shape. See ya. Tex, that's enough. Billy, your box next. Okay. Hiya, boss. How do you feel? Eh, like about four ounces. What you got for me today? Want to try the Mexican kid again? Okay, he's fast enough to give me a little workout. He's a good boy. All seven, Sir Roberts. It's far with Billy Carthy today. Give him a good workout. That'll learn you. No, we're just working out. I guess he didn't read your clippings. That's enough. Not till I even up for that Sunday punch. Go on, bust a glove on his head. There's no percentage in handling gym fighters. Save your stuff for Buck Ward. If you ever get him for me. I'll get him. You throw a right like that again, I'll bend your teeth right back to Mexico City. Go on, cool off a while. You're all right, kid. Carlos, what took you so long? You should see his Sunday punch. I'm afraid I owe you an apology about Felipe. I'll settle for a sandwich. What do you have that's good? You're new around here, aren't you? Who does he think he is? You said he didn't have a punch. I slipped. Yeah. On his glove. Hey, that was some punch. You want to be a fighter, kid? Why? Well, you're a natural. You got wind, stamina, and you eat leather. Does that pay well? You sound like you got money problems. I need three months' rent for my people. Okay, I'll loan it to you. But you got to sign with me, and you got to listen to me. I'll listen. We'll start in my office as soon as you get dressed. You punch in that ring the way you punched in the gym today, I'll build you into a main eventer in a few months. What is a main eventer? The guy who gets a couple of hundred to fight. 
I think I will be a main eventer. More coffee, folks? No, thanks. You sure there isn't another exit to this gym? Well, they all come out the way they went in. Not counting broken noses and cauliflower ears. There he is. I will go with you to apologize. Another time, Carlos. You know his temper. It's better if I talk to him alone. Felipe. Now you know how I got the money. Fighting like an animal. You buy her the coffee and she goes for another guy. Don't seem right to me. You don't want anyone to be part of your life, do you, Felipe? There is no room. Oh, but that's wrong. Everyone needs friends. I don't. I think only of my enemies. What happened to you over there? Why are you like this? Why? I will tell you why. There was trouble in my land. The soldiers of Diaz rode hard and often. But even in the midst of trouble, we went out on our boats. My father and I were like our neighbors on Lake Pazcuaro. If the catch was good, things did not seem too bad. We of the Tarascan tribe love our freedom, and we have always fought for it, even against our own leaders when they oppressed us. I had so little time for my sweetheart, Nevis, whom I loved very much. I'll help you unload. Gracias. My mother and my little brother, Thomas, they loved her as much as I did. Tell me, was Felipe like that? Very much like that. I'll help you. Thank you. Uh, so much corn, and yet there is never enough. You will learn that when you wed my Felipe and bear his sons. Will you come to my wedding, Thomas? Or will you have barbecued goat? Mm, burro meat. Tough burro meat. And no fiesta tonight unless you work harder. Come, Thomas. I'll show you how I'll dance with Felipe tonight. survive an army of scorpions only to be stung by a mosquito. Shall I shoot the band of uh, A gun in the wrong hands. It's dangerous. I could use some water in the name of Madero. Madero? He is no bandit. Get him some water, Davis, quickly. The wound. It is bad. There's your horse. Water him at the creek and hide him in the old cave where you play. Not a word of this to anyone. Who are you? They call me Durango. Durango? The guerrilla leader. We have heard of you and your men. Now only me. Last night, the Federalists ambushed my band. They killed or captured every mother son of us. Except me. I, Chihuahua. We better hide him until our men return. Ah. No woman has ever carried me since I was a baby. You can lie down here. I must not sleep yet. Get me the tea water.
candle from the altar. You would use the altar candle? To seal the wound. Quickly, it is God's will to save his sons. It is done. like us today, my son. Maybe they want to go to the fiesta tonight. A few will go in our bellies. Maybe no one will go tonight. The Federales. Who are they after? You may be Pedro. It is no laughing matter. For once, Pedro is right. Hurry. Warn the women to stay out of sight. The Federales! What do you think the Federales won, Luis? What do we have left? They have already stolen our ancestral lands. I'll ask them if they come to tax the fish. Control your tongue, and maybe we will be safe. Safe from Captain Alvarado? <laughs> the Federales! The Federales searched our village two months ago. They surprised our men at dawn and took every gun. Why do they always have the gun? Federales. He is my son. Next time you better knock, my friend. Who are you to tell me that? Durango from the north, a maderista. Durango? If they find me here, they'll kill you. We could hide him in the cornfield. No. Come. Oh, no. Lie down here. We will cover you with a corn. What? Be caught like a fish served up on a plate? Ah, Chihuahua! Quiet, Chihuahua, you talk too much. Wait. I want to be in a position to say a polite adios. Adios. I must let Father know. For the last time, who is the chief here? You, can you speak for these people? If they wish. I wish. We have just wiped out a band of guerrillas, except for a traitor who escaped, a heavy man with big mustachos. He calls himself Durango. You know of him? Don't stand there like burros. Have you seen him? Why would he come here, Your Excellency? Since your last visit, we have no guns for him to steal. Who are you? Luis Rivera. I will remember that name. I offer a thousand pesos, more than any of you earns in a year, for information leading to the arrest of this traitor Durango. I will speak, but only to ask a question. Ask it. If Durango learns who betrayed him, he may offer... Are you trying to make a joke of me? Oh, no, Your Excellency. A thousand pesos is no joke. It is more than Judas got. Search the village. Every home. Hiding him. We are hiding someone. What does he mean? Durango, the bandit. Boy, did you see a man on a sorrel horse? Yes. What? No, I mean no. What do you mean, yes, no? He's afraid. He's only a child. Garcia, see. Si. Search the house. You, Flores, the fields. Ah, the insolent ones. Do you have to frighten women and children too? Sometimes we choose men. Any trace of him? Nothing yet, sir. Garcia, find anything? I've looked everywhere inside, sir. And found nothing? No, sir.
fine crop this year. I would like some corn. Garcia. Si. Yeah, take this. Uncover him quickly. Durango. I'm still breathing. <laughs> Those federales lead a charmed life, huh? You were very brave, Tomas. Do not spoil it now. Hey, it's human to be afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm crying because you were buried there all this time. Don't worry, little one. Those villains will be buried for a much longer time. But now we'll miss a fiesta tonight. That's where you're mistaken. You must all go to this fiesta, be gay and happy to throw the glare into their eyes, huh? Huh? <laughs> You came to the fiesta to dance. I'm waiting to be asked. What a wonderful fiesta, eh? If only the federales were not here. Your voice carries well on the night air, Lou Rivera. It was not me. It was another man. Maybe it is not large enough. What do you know of Durango? Nothing, senor. Nothing? Nothing. <laughs> the young lovers. You will escape by boat. What is the plan? Here, the rubles. Put this on. This. We will go now. Follow closely behind us. Such a face to make my little nervous. If anyone sees us, they must believe you are in love with me. I will hold my breath till you return.
Jerry can be trusted. The man who lends you his horse can always be trusted. Do not become jumpy, amigo. Jose Fierro will deliver you over the mountains long before dawn. You're coming with me? The lieutenant took a liking to my wife. I shot a slight hole in his chest. Do you advise me to stay behind? You've just become the first volunteer in my new army. My wife. With a friend I trust most. She was smart enough to hide it when they were searching for me. What is all this? I have packed our things. My things, you mean? Our things. Would you want that lieutenant to find me here alone? Our things. So now we have a new soldadera. Two volunteers are better than one, my general. And you, Felipe, are you going to make it three? Or are you going to stay here to eat the whiplash as the federales serve? I will stay with my family and my girl in my village. And you hope to protect these without fighting? I will fight. But on the homeland, I know best. I used to think like that. But when you've learned, as I've learned, you'll leave even your girl and your village to join us. Strange how the loss of a little blood can make such a difference to a man. <sighs> Gracias, Felipe. You and your father are men of my heart. If ever you're in the north, you'll find me near Ciudad Juarez, or across the Rio Grande through the Madero Council in El Paso, where those who write and talk work for us who fight. Adios. Adios. Viva Madero! Viva Madero! Viva Madero! Thomas, Nevis, everyone in the village. It happened with the soldiers who found Nevis on the beach. We fought with machetes against their guns. They spared only me for this. <laughs> Oh, 
why, you ask me. I ask you, why do men do such things? Chicken inspector. My hero. All right, young fella, how about you? Step right up and try your luck. Six shots for a dime. Step right up here. Go ahead. You treat a gun like an old friend. My country needs many such friends. You like to shoot? Not just for the shooting. They are. To bring a pheasant down. To stop a mountain lion an enemy. We are not fighting clay pigeons. Not bad. There you are. My turn. Texas to be a crack shot's part of every girl's trousseau. All right, who's next? Four pounds, hasn't he? Yeah, and won four fights. I've seen them all. <laughs> My fan. He doesn't mention you almost got knocked out in Dallas. Uh, just a lucky punch. Nah. He was too fast for me. He wasn't too fast. You were too slow from working late with your Madero crowd. He has to be. Every night? Every night. I give up. Hey, you got company. What's wrong? Everything. We'll need him for a while, Mr. Roberts. Something important's come up. What's more important than road work? This is. Believe me. Okay, he's all yours. Please, Felipe, hurry. Is she a steady? He doesn't act like it. Well, how come he never gives me a tumble? Doesn't he know about girls and boys? He baffles me too, Stella, but not about the same things. Hey, your milk. They sure gave you a going over. All this I do not mind so much. Things can be repaired easily. But not people. What did the doctor say about Carlos? He's still in the operating room when I telephone the hospital. Kathy. How is he? Please, telephone the hospital again. Always they destroy. Felipe, how shall I print my leaflets without a printing press? I want to check on the condition of Carlos Ramos. Paulina, he's out of the coma. Gracias, adios. Thank you, Doctor. We'll be right over. Here's Dr. McCain. How's our friend? Well, I got him patched up, but he'll have to stay out of street brawls for a while. This was not a street fight, Doctor. Oh, more of that Madeira land and liberty stuff? Land and liberty seem unimportant when you already have them, senor. Thank you for helping him. May we go in now? For a few minutes. Look, 
I'm not sure who's right over there, but the doctor's bill is on me. You can never figure those big, dumb Texans. Wonderful people. I trade you, Felipe. My broken hit for your bad eye. If only I could. What about the mission? What mission? <clears throat> I'm on your team, but I can take a hint. Gracias. Last night we received word that Durango is still alive. The Federales have him in prison. Near Asuncion. Why don't his men try to rescue him? If the guerrillas are wiped out, our last hope will be gone. Carlos was to leave tonight for the mountains where Durango's men are hiding. They must be told to be patient, to wait. Here I am, on my back, helpless. I will go myself. No. No, not you. Why not? You are the leader. And besides... Besides what? If you will forgive my saying so, you are too old for such a mission. Who is too old? Listen to him, Paulino. He is right. You can't be risked. I can. If you will trust me. From the Rio Grande to Chapultepec, mi amigo. Do I go? You go. Tonight. But I still say I am not too old. I shouldn't keep the Federales waiting. They are impatient to see me. Let's hope they never do. You're anxious to see your homeland again? Yes. Do you ever think of her, of Nevis? I must go now. I promise to be careful. Do I look like a poor peon to you? I miss the chip on your shoulder. And no poor peon would ever wear that. Suspicious, Peppy? Nothing, Captain. Remember, there's a reward of 500 pesos for any motorist to capture trying to cross the frontier. And that is even higher than the bounty for coyotes. <laughs> Tanta guapango y echa falsete cuando peje ay 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 vendo carrito voy por la sierra con mis burritos ay 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 voy muy ranchero voy por la sierra alma del Where are they holding Durango? In this fortress, right on the edge of the town. Gracias, senor. You have not told me why you are not in the mountains with the others. The others are not in the mountains. They are within the sound of my gun, ready to rescue Durango. But that is what they want you to do. You will be wiped out. For Durango, we must take that risk. Is there no way to slip one man inside the fort? We thought of that too, but Isidro turned coward. Who is Isidro? 
Colonel Alvarado's orderly. Colonel Alvarado, the same one. He was promoted. His reward for wiping out your village. Isidro hates him as much as we do, but fears him even more. Speaking of the devil. Ah, Senor Isidro, what does your beloved master fancy today? Some fresh food to start his feast. I've already purchased pampano and almonds. Nothing is too good for Colonel Alvarado. Has he struck you with his riding crop lately? Oh, pineapples. Help yourself. Have you changed your mind about helping us? I'm undecided. What's this? Your decision. Still do not wish to tell us where your men are hiding? Listen to me when I talk to you. I'm at the end of my patience. Well? Leave us! Don't forget, you're drunk. You broke into the tequila again. If the colonel finds uh, out... Are you going to tell him? I am no informer. Good. Then I can pass out like an officer. Seems you had a few too many. Who are you? A new recruit, but an old friend of Isidro's. Oh. Wash the fruit and take it up to the colonel. Isidro. What always happens to him? I could use a drink myself. Tell the colonel to save some tequila for me. I am resting. I bring fresh fruit, sir. Very well. Come in. this table. Has it been carefully washed? In many waters, sir. And the pampano? It is on the fire. I do not remember you. Are you one of the cook's litter? No. I am Felipe Rivera, son of a fisherman you should remember. Luis Rivera. not to kill you. But my colonel, I do not quite understand. I have received instructions to allow Durango to try to escape. Will he succeed? 
It is unlikely. Have four horses ready for us immediately. Yes, sir. You were the fellow at Arles? The Colonel's gun. Does that answer your question? Forgive me, my friend. Quickly. Once in prison, softened you? Must we let these murderers go free? Who said anything about letting them go? Felipe, did you hear me say anything about that? No, sir. You, Jose? No. And I have very good ears. There will be a trial. Here. A trial? I helped you escape, didn't I? You, Philippe, are the chief witness. State the evidence. You burned and destroyed my village. You murdered many women and children. My mother, my little brother. You tortured my father. Crucified him with machetes and left him to die in the night. Your soldiers took my sweetheart Torture them as they have tortured our family. No. It will be enough to know they will never again kill an innocent man or woman. Those who kill should be prepared to face death themselves. mountain pass you will follow on your way to El Paso. In about 12 hours, you will reach the village of Quiroga. Who do I see there? Go to Juan Quintero's saddle shop. We will give you a fresh horse and safe conduct to the frontier. Tell me, Felipe, how goes it with our compatriots in El Paso? Ah, they work hard, day and night. They stand up to exile, to poverty, to beatings. They spread the truth. They are words, Felipe. Our enemies grow fat on words while they kill us with weapons. What would you have us do? Tell them to stop this paper war. Tell them our enemies understand only one language, guns. Look at the faces of our friends, Felipe. Without guns, we'll all be picked off one by one. We'll all be corpses in 30 days. But bring me 1,000 guns, Felipe, and we will free Mexico. Bring me 1,000 guns and I will free Mexico. Those were Durango's words. A thousand guns. We cannot afford to send a hundred bullets, let alone a thousand guns. If we had the money, do you know where we could get them? I know. I saved the clipping. It's about some discontinued rifles from the Spanish-American War. At five dollars a rifle. 
We would need only $5,000. Only $5,000? <laughs> if we could only reach up and pluck the moon, we would all see a beautiful sunrise. If we do not get the guns, our people will never see the sunrise. I know, I know. Uh, Durango is right. There comes a time to stop fighting with words. And now we talkers are failing our fighters. We will not fail them. I promised Durango. You shouldn't have. I had to. The guns, does it say there where we can get them? Yes, at the armory. Order the guns. You have eaten danger, Felipe. Don't let the taste of it go to your head. Order the guns. And like that, you will have the $5,000. I will get the money. Order the guns. Five thousand bucks is in advance. On what? I need it very badly, Mr. Roberts. Oh, we all do, kid. Look, if you want on the card next week, I'll get you on. You in shape? You don't understand that. I need a miracle. This is Texas, son, but not many miracles happen even around here. <clears throat> What's wrong? Feels like a busted wrist. Let's see it, Billy. Head. You know you fight Buck Ward a week from tomorrow? Not with this, I don't. Shut up and get in the locker room. I will be happy to take his place, Mr. Roberts. Not a chance, kid. How about that call to Dallas? All right, all right. Why did you have to wait for 36 hours before the fight to tell me that Billy couldn't go on? I figured his wrist might get better. Well, you figured wrong. We got a sellout. He'll be hanging from the rafters to see his boy fight. So, pay the forfeit and postpone it. Not me. As far as the fans are gonna know, the fight's still on. Hey, uh, Ward, do you know anybody around here you could carry for a few rounds? You don't need anybody. I can waltz for ten rounds. Yeah, looks like that's what you've been doing. Who is it? Felipe Rivera. They told me Mr. Roberts was here. What does he want? There's your punching bag for tomorrow night. Let him in. Mr. Roberts? Well, he, he don't look like much. I guess my boy can carry him six, eight rounds if he don't get on a bicycle. Don't worry, he keeps coming in. Oh, he's really green, huh? <laughs> I'll see you at the hotel, girls. Is that the way you've been training? Believe me. You know that miracle you were looking for? It's arrived. You mean I got the fight? How much? The whole purse won't amount to more than five or six thousand. Ward gets 75 percent off the top. Yeah, and if your boy puts on a good show, he gets a couple of hundred. Okay, kid? No. Did you say no? That is right. Just what do you got in your mind? Winner take all. Hey, I don't hear so good in Texas. Winner take all. What's the matter with this guy? Is he local? What is wrong with winner take all? Are you afraid of me? Afraid? Look, Max, you're asking for it. Asking for what, senor? A punch in the nose. I don't like fresh Mexicans. You. Boy, you little punk, save it for the ring, champ. If you are not afraid of me, then why not winner take all? Right up the deal. Winner take all? Winner take all. I was going to pull my punches, but now everything goes. Come on. That was real smart, hitting a hothead like him. How else could I get him to agree to win or take all? How you feel, kid? Go see how that last bout's coming. Sure. I got to win, Mr. Roberts. You got one chance, Felipe. I just saw Ward strip down. It's like he didn't train for this fight. Soft. Got a life preserver around his middle. His wind might go in five or six rounds, if you'll last that long. I will last. How's that? Too tight? No. 
find. Yo? Yeah? Friends of Sierra Vera. I told her no ladies ever came back here. I have to see him. Look, miss, this is no time to upset the boy. I just want a minute with him. Okay. But don't hit him with any bad news. How do you feel? Did you order the guns? It'll take a week to get them across the border. A whole week? After they've been paid for. Always the money comes first. Please, Philippe, tonight think of yourself. To me, to many of us, you come first. Go talk to the man at the armory. Maybe he will start the guns moving. I'm going to see you fight. I have to. It will not be pretty. Time, kid. Time to get your brains knocked out. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctors have just reported that Billy Carthy has suffered a very serious accident and will not be able to fight tonight. Uh -huh. <laughs> It's very fortunate to get that very fast local boy, that future champion, that Mexican bombshell, Felipe Rivera. This is going to be a great evening. This is American sportsmanship. Come out to a ball game with me sometime and hear me all kill the Empire! Jack Ford! Yeah. Mr. Ward looks very strong. Your referee! Honest! Jack Edwards of San Antonio. Who do you like? The referees. Where do you want the body sent? You'll never know. show tonight. Watch your foul punches. Does Felipe have a chance? Felipe, anything can happen. I know he can hit. No things. Come on, fighting.
holding him up anyway. I'll hit him with everything in the book. Is this what I paid five bucks to see? Don't let him fool you, Felipe. Keep him moving. Keep going in at him. Just remember, he'll wind easy. sessions during the fight. So he nailed me one. Yeah. Nice work, that knockdown punch. I knocked him down. You don't remember? Don't let your guard down again. He's got a punch. You're telling me. Now look, keep both those hands up. They're left and your right. You hear me? Guard yourself. Keep moving in on him. Don't let up a minute. Got him going now.
right away and knock him down. That was the last round. Better finish him off before you run out of steam. Hey, this is it, kid. He's arm weary. Play it the way I told you. It's our only chance. My son. My son. But bring me 1,000 guns, Felipe, and we will free Mexico. I thought you came to the fiesta to dance. I'm waiting to be asked. But bring me 1,000 guns, Felipe, and we will free Mexico. Well, like I told you, it's your only chance. You hear me? Play it the way I told you. He's carrying his guard high. Get it down. Just keep working on the body. When you get his guard down, nail it. That's yeah, okay. That's what I told you. His arms are gone. Only have as much faith as he has. <laughs> <laughs> 